We got two dog classified Pokemon, I think. And I feel like in Talion, I think you're going to be the one taking him on a walk. Hey everyone, James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 Back to Balance. We can even use the Focus Sash as a leash. <laughs> but anyway, what is up everyone? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 Back to Balance. Today, we're going to be using this pledge team that we debuted in the last episode with Savala, Inteleon, the Snorlax, Arcanine, Togekiss, and the Excadrill. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, highly recommend go checking out. But let's get started and play some games. But before that, I'm going to ask the common question of today, which is going to be about the DLC. So we, like maybe a week or two ago, I don't remember how far it was. It was, we ended up getting DLC announced for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is the, uh, what was it? The Isle of Armor and the Tundra, uh, the Frozen Tundra, I think. I don't remember the specific name. But yeah, let me know what you think about them down below in the dis comments down below. But anyway, let's get started and play some games. I'm actually really a huge fan of the idea. Um, I think the Isle of Armor could have been a bit better. But I really love the Frozen Tundra idea. I really do. I think the Isle of Armor idea could have been... I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit bland. But, you know, of course, we don't have any super big details on it other than like the main points of the game. Oh, come on. Did we actually find the same team that we encountered in the last time? Okay. Um, that's fine. I could pledge it up here, which I'm not a huge fan of pledging up. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to pledge. I don't want to use pledge. Um... <laughs> this is a hard matchup just because it's Muddy Water Ludicolo, which changes my dynamic immensely. Um, I'll go Togekiss, I guess, with the... Um, I think Togekiss of Ally will work here. I do. Yeah. Snorlax and Arcanine in the back. The play is sweep the rain mode with the Togekiss, I think. I don't think I can really Dynamax Snorlax in the position it's in and then intimidate and then try to weaken the Bronzong and try to beat it before the Rhyperior can come out. Uh, I'm going to Parting Shot, I think, turn one plus the uh, Airstream into Ludicolo. Let's see. Oh, it's Dragon Ball Togekiss leading. Huh. Completely different than what I anticipated, but it works out. Uh, we get to lead our Togekiss plus our Savali here. I don't remember what the Dragon Ball was specifically on this team. I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam, get some chip, and I'm going to go for the Icy Wind as well. I could Punish out to Togekiss, which doesn't sound like a bad idea. But I really do like the Icy Wind turn one. If I remember right, it wasn't weakness policy on the Togekiss. I would assume this is going to be some kind of trigger mode as well. There's no weak no, there's no weakness policy on it, Pokemon. It's going to be the right period. Unless my opponent changes sets. Uh, we are going to see the Dragon Ball Dynamax. I could have switched into Snorlax immediately, but I don't know if this is going to be attack or not. Turn one. So we'll see what my opponent decides to do here. I just want to get some damage. Uh, my opponent can't Dynamax the Rhyperior in the back, which is really good. Uh, oh no, that's bad. <laughs> I forgot it's helping hand Togekiss. With Max Steel Spike. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. That's very, very bad. Uh, well, that was a fun game. It's life for two. Uh, again, I see wind off. I do get chip, which is nice. Uh, maybe I can beat the Max Ghost into Arcanine and go out into the Snorlax. Still very, very tough to win the game, I think, overall. Their body, yep. Yeah, this is looking very, very bad. Good play from my opponent. This isn't the same opponent we had the last episode, right? Because I'm recording this video in a row with the other one. I don't think it is. But yeah, I'm going to try to bait the Max Ghost here. I don't have many much of a play anyway. If it's Max Dragon into the Silvalli, at least I'm going to live it anyway. Which isn't bad at all. But let's see here. 
Gonna bring out the Snorlax here as follow me or helping hand once again. Follow me this time, okay. Um, and let's see what it is going to be. It is going to be the Max Dragon coming out, so good play for my opponents and into Savala, yep. That knocks out? Is that a crit? No, it just knocks out naturally. Okay, I gotta change that spread, I think. I know it's life for boost. Oh wait, isn't this thing adamant too? I'm pretty sure that it was specifically adamant on this team. But even then, that's still pretty bad that I went down to it. Okay, well, that was pretty much a clean sweep. <laughs> I just got dominated turn one. I guess I should have Dynamaxed my uh, Togekiss then. And just went for the Airstream. I was worried about Yawn. I keep forgetting the details about this team. Like I really do. It really be like that sometimes, but I did forget. I didn't know about the helping hand. I thought it was a yawn set, so yeah, not much I could really do there. I would have had to Dynamax turn one. Um, lead wise, I think I could have let Snorlax Togekiss this game though, and I think I should have potentially. It might have been better than what I led, but <sighs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough. It also really hurt that Savali went down to that. I'm actually very surprised that Savali did go down to that uh, double up combination. I gotta fix that. We got Mark as our next opponent with the team of Gyarados, Chandelure, Duraldon, Kong Kelder, Whimsicott, and Togekiss. So let's not make this a double loss, please. Um, Normally I would say Pledge would be all right here, but there is going to be that Chandelure with Trick Room probably on this team with Kong Kelder and Duraldon. I don't exactly have the best answers unfortunately so i gotta figure out what are my best options here um i want to say arcanine's a good lead here because it does fire off the intimidate which is actually pretty big maybe the togekiss as well i think snorlax and Tavali. i could lead double dog too i think double dog wouldn't be that bad either i don't like excadrill in this game uh it does do work but i don't think it's that i don't think it's worth it personally um yeah i think i like these four the problem is i'm gonna always be weak to the fighting slot with the con the con is the biggest threat to this team if i can eliminate the con and potentially the duraldon i think those two are the scariest pokemon opponents team it's definitely the most offensive pressure de they're definitely exerting the most offensive presence there if i can party shot the duraldon we're in a pretty good spot uh, I do have to get rid of the Conkelder though. Conkelder is such a big threat to my team. Um, I kind of wish... Okay, so this Togus, um Real talk. This Togus wasn't actually supposed to be spread. It normally was. Um, I was actually supposed to have a way bulkier Togekiss that was slower. Uh, but yeah, I, it's not. It's actually fast Togekiss, which I'm not a big fan of personally. on Especially on this team. I think a bulky one would be better <laughs> for this team. So if you do want to try out this team, I recommend a bulkier one. A Gyarados Whimsicott's going to lead here, which is interesting. Okay. Against my uh, Togekiss and my Arcanine. So I get a pretty good lead off, I think. I get Intimidate off into the Gyarados slot. And I get a um, chance to just go for a Dazzling Gleam here and get some chip, which is pretty nice here. I think I could just switch out here into my Savali. Not really a huge fan of going into the Snorlax, although it might not be too bad. I like Savali more though. Yeah, I like Savali more. I'm gonna Dazzle and Gleam. Because I want to break the Sash on the Whimsicott. And I don't want to bring it down to like a good Endeavor point. So yeah, we'll go for Dazzle and Gleam and just switch out. I could go for the Wild Charge, but there is the chance my opponent goes for Tailwind. And the uh, Max Wa Max Geyser here. So I'm not gonna risk that. We're gonna see the switch from my opponent's end into the Duraldon. So I'm guessing it's Trick and Whimsicott. Okay. Um, no, it's just Tailwind. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we'll get a Dazzling Gleam off into my opponent. Ooh, that did a lot to the Duraldon. Okay, that's offensive. Hmm, okay. I think it's Fake Tears, Whimsicott, and if it is Fake Tears, that's a problem. That's a very big problem.
I might go down to Max Steel Spike, which is a problem. I'm going to go Arcanine here, though, and go for the Icy Wind. I think I got to hope that Arcanine will live the uh, Max Steel Spike Fake Tears combination, or Helping Hands Steel Spike, because I think that's what's coming out. And then I go for the Icy Wind, try to put the Whims kind of Extreme Speed range, go for Extreme Speed, and then uh, either Icy Wind or Parting Shot again. I think that's a play. But let's see here. Okay, that's not what I expected at all. Moonblast is going to come out, which is fine. And then I'm guessing uh, the Flash Cannon. Or Thunderbolt, which is fair, too. Um, covered both. Oh, it's Life of the Rowdon, huh? Hit the Icy Wind, which is good, so I hit both. Wow, that actually almost knocks out both Pokemon, which is kind of sad. <laughs> that's actually very sad. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like my opponent doesn't want to Dynamax the Duraldon, which does make sense. Um, I think I could Icy Wind here, my opponent. And... Should I Extreme Speed? I could Extreme Speed or I could go on a Snorlax, and I kind of like the idea of going on a Snorlax more. Because um, I want that Intimidate into the Gyarados, because I think that could be major big, especially if it's like Conkelder in the back. I want Intimidate off, because I think maybe Endgame Togekiss can clean this up now that I think about it. Then again, a double up in this eval, I could knock me out, and that would be very bad. <laughs> uh, if it's like Draco Meat or something. But then again, I could set up the Snorlax for free, and I think that would actually be a pretty good cause for me. So I think I will go for it, what, what I'm going to plan to. Because I think, no matter what, even if you do double in the Savali, I can go for a Belly Drum, Togekiss, Follow Me idea. We're going to see the Derout on Protect, which is fine. And Moonblast once again. Yeah, which is fine. So my opponent wasted the Tailwind. Moonblast going to come out, get some Chip. Please hit the Whimsicott, because I don't want another Tailwind being set up. Nice. Perfect. Alright. So Whimsicott goes down, which is really, really good here. So... I think that was the last turn of Tailwind, if I'm not mistaken, and... No, it was not, actually. Just one more turn. Okay, I lied. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> but it's fine. We're in a pretty good spot, regardless. Um, I can go for Icy Wind the next turn, and go for a... Uh... I wonder if Conkelder is coming out. Could be Conkelder coming out. I'm still gonna Icy Wind here for sure. Oh, Gyarados is gonna come back out. Maybe no Conkelder in the back? Um, it's Moxie Gyarados, okay. I didn't realize that at first. Um, there's one more turn Tailwind, right? Yeah, one more turn Tailwind. I might as well just keep this Avali alive, I think, at this point. Right, Darkest Lariat, the, uh, the route on. I think it is my play. Because I don't want a G-Max yet. I think it's Dragon Dance into the, uh, Draco Meteor into the uh, Sabali. No, it's just Waterfall. Okay. Going into Snorlax, which is fine. I'm pretty bulky. I'll take that. Draco Meteor. Yeah, into Sabali. Do I flinch? Even though I flinch, it's not too bad. But I don't, so. Okay. Not bad. I. Oh. Oh, okay. I did not get the Drought on. I thought I didn't for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> At that low? <laughs> okay, good. Uh, we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, let's see what my opponent's going to bring out next. I'm assuming... Yeah, it's Conkelder in the back. Okay. So I'm going to Parting Shot the uh, Conkelder, I think. And I think I'm just going to go for the Double Edge. I know I'm not Dynamaxing with my Storylax at all, but like I don't, I see... I don't think I get opportunities to Double Edge, really. And I feel like it's more optimal to Dynamax the Togekiss in the end game. Conkata is actually going to detect, which is fine here. Okay. So I wonder what the Gyarados is going for. A waterfall? There isn't a Dynamax for my opponent yet. Waterfall going to come out. Target down my uh, Savali slot. Okay, that activates my berry, which is very nice. Uh, so I'm basically back at where I was, I think. Or somewhere close. Yeah. Get a double edge off. Maybe it's the Flame Orb set, so that makes sense why my opponent doesn't want to Dynamax that Pokemon yet. It is Flame Orb on the Conkata, okay. Um, do I want to go Arcanine? I have no idea who's getting Mock Punch, is the question. Um, 
I want a parting shot to Conk Helder for sure, I think. And I'm just going to double edge the Gyarados. Get some chip. We're finally going to see a Dynamax from my opponent. So is this going to be the Conk Helder or is this going to be the Gyarados? Because that's a very, very big question. It's going to be the Gyarados, actually. Okay, maybe it is Max Flying going to be coming out, which would be problematic. But we'll see here. Um, okay. Mock Punch? Is Mock Punch coming out? Into the Snorlax, actually. Okay. Uh, which is fine. Uh, gets a critical hit. A little bit unfortunate. But I think that would have knocked... I think that would have knocked out anyway. Because I didn't intimidate this Pokemon yet. Punish Shot will come out into the Conk Helder slot. And I don't think I can risk my Togus. I think I'm forced to go out into my... Uh, I'm forced to go out into my Arcanine. So I get intimidated off into the Gyarados at least. I'm just worried about the Airstream coming out. But it's fine, I guess. Uh, as long as the Conk Helder is not faster than Togekiss, and I don't think there's any really way of the Conk Helder being able to outspeed my Togekiss, I think I'm fine. So, uh, we'll see here. Max Airstream does come out, which is no surprise. Okay. We'll knock out my Arcanine, which is completely okay here. Okay, we're good. Critical hit doesn't matter there. I'd rather the crit happen there than the next turn, what I'm going to do. So, the Gyarados is at plus one speed, so it's the Conk Helder, but... The Conkelder's at minus two. The Gyarados is back at neutral. I completely forgot. Okay. Um, That's fine. I think Savala should live the Mach Punch at least. So I get to bring out the Togekiss now. And I still have one more, more, one more turn of Dynamax compared to my opponent. So I think we should be fine. Because Togekiss is still pretty healthy. And since this is an offensive Togekiss, we should be doing some work. Um... Should I Icy Wind or should I Parting Shot is my goal. Um, I think I always Parting Shot here because I don't risk a Miss Factor. But yeah, I'm going to Airstream to Conk Helder, which will pick up the Knockout, and I will go for the Parting Shot. I could Protect with my uh, Sabali, but I don't want Max Geyser going out into the Toge slot and then, like, uh, the Rain setup. So, and then maybe the Max Geyser would knock my Togekiss out after the Rain boosted one. So that's why I want a Parting Shot real bad. Uh, of course, I still don't know what kind of Gyarados this is, how fast it is, and I also don't know, like, the damage output here, if, of Mach Punch specifically. The attack's gonna come out from the Conk Helder, which is fine. Max Geyser's gonna come out. Who's this targeting? It's going to be the Savali. Can I survive? No. I don't think the crit mattered. I don't. No, it's a neutral. I think that would have KO'd. Ah, this is going to be really close. Oh, yeah, and the Moxie boost, which is not good for me. Okay. Here comes a Max Airstream, though, into the Conk Helder slot. That did no damage. What? <laughs> um... I think I max guard with Togekiss here for the uh, for the protect boost. Well, I get rid. I still have to turn the Dynamax from the Gyarados, and I think that's pretty huge here. Yeah. So I'll go for it. Max guys are going to come out once again into the Togekiss slot, and we're going to see the Rock Slide come out. Okay. Um, I want to say that there could be a chance the Conk Helder does protect again. I do want to airstream the uh, Gyarados. And if it's only Rock Slide, I feel like uh, my Togekiss should be able to live it comfortably. So I can get a guaranteed airstream off and probably outspeed the Gyarados the following turn. And I think Waterfall and a Rock Slide won't knock out my Togekiss. Which is a big deal because I could get a uh, Weakness Policy Boost. And Conk Helder protects, which is perfect for me. So I'm going to be able to get the airstream off into the Gyarados slot. Which is really big. Knocks out the Gyarados. Okay, perfect. Is that crit? It was a critical hit. I don't think it mattered. I don't think Water... Well, Waterfall wouldn't have done enough damage. And then I just get a single target Dazzling Gleam off in the Conk Helder. Actually, no. I'd get a Dazzling Gleam off the Conk Helder. I'm pretty sure I would KO the Conk Helder, though, with Dazzling Gleam. Like, I'm very sure I won the game with Dazzling Gleam after the Airstream. It was a Salt Vest Gyarados. Maybe that changes a bit of the dynamic, but I'm okay with that. Uh, we just Dazzle and Gleam here. It's a guaranteed knockout on the Conk Helder. And that's going to be game. Yeah. 
Perfect. All right. Not the best well played end game from me. I could have played that better. Maybe I should have focused the Gyarados more. I wasn't actually expecting the uh, Dynamax coming out from the Gyarados because it was only at half health from my opponent. But my opponent did play well because the Airstream was actually pretty big. I completely forgot about the Moxie too since my opponent, my Pokemon were weakened. So I think maybe I should have just targeted down the Gyarados slot. Uh, because if I target down the Gyarados slot with Parting Shot. Uh, the Gyarados was still going to be weakened, and my Togekiss could have had more fun in the Dynamax form. Because all I needed was Conkelder at, like, neutral, I think. You know, minus one attack, then the Guts boost. So I feel like maybe that was a better play. But luckily, we were able to pull through with a win. I hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC. 2020 Back to Battles. We do go 1-1. One, one. <laughs> that first game. <laughs> that first game. Uh, I got to think about what I have to do against that combination. Because that team is really scary. It has so many different modes that it can go for. It has three different specific leads you can go for. And like the status it can do by transitioning is kind of insane. Hope that everyone enjoyed today's episode though. If you did like it, please leave a like, leave a like down below. Should support as well as you can share this video with your friends. Leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, leave a like down below. Share this video with your friends and leave a comment down below. Otherwise, you can check out my other stuff down below in the description. Such as my social media, side series on my channel and more. You can also check out the pacement of this team down below. If you do want to try this team out alongside me in the description down below. But otherwise... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me so far. If you want to go an extra mile to support me, there is my Patreon page and my Twitch channel. And yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it. Have a great day, people. Until we bow again, I'll catch you all later.